thinking of doing another experiment um, with leaf propagation because I've been hearing about various tips, various techniques and I wonder which one is the most effective or at least in my climate. So I've heard of people doing water propagation and I'm really really curious how much it affects the growth rate, the rooting rate and the growth rate of the leaves. So maybe maybe I could try it on something that uh, notoriously grows fast like the jelly beans. I should probably pick one of these, you know, just one branch and just pick all of the leaves. I've got a lot here. So maybe this one or this. Yeah, maybe this one. This looks pretty established. Just pick this one. Yeah, this should work. To make sure uh, I have a fair representation, I'm going to group them. I'm going to separate them into small groups. Right now, I'm thinking maybe I could use three groups. The first group would be my normal method, which is uh, just laying them out to dry and watering them once the roots start to form. The second group would be just exposing them to, or at least letting the wa uh, water touch the tips. The third group would be uh, relying on evaporation. So it's still involving water, but not touching the water directly. So let's go ahead and separate them. I'm going to work my way up from the bottom and alternate, uh, uh, alternate with the three groups. That way there's no bias with you know, uh, which leaves are healthier or not. They are well distributed that way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe give two more. One here and one here. Or I could just remove the small ones. Yep. So I'm going with this one. So I have a feeling that the smaller ones would be behaving differently or at least grow at a different rate. So it might be unfair, might skew the results a bit. So here we go, we have three groups. For my first group, as I said, I'm going to do my usual method. So I prepared my soil. And I'm just going to lay them on top like so. And I won't be watering them until roots start to form one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten here for the other two groups we want to involve water for the first uh, for the first of these two I'll be filling up with water up to the brim so the leaves would be able to touch it and I'm, holding, I'm going to hold them up the lid using clear wrap, plastic wrap I'm just going to stick them in As for the last one, I'm going to fill it halfway with water not all the way so they don't touch any of it so I've added water to the two, two containers the first one has it really close to the brim Well, the second one is only filled up half, halfway So 
So using cling wrap, I have both bottles covered. So they are both flush to the lid. And what I'm going to do is to stick the leaves in. So the goal for this one, the first one, is to have the leaves touching the water. So this means I have to make sure that the water is right at the, at the very edge. As for the second bottle, the water is only filled up halfway. So I'm going to rely on evaporation here. So here we go. I've got the leaves in now. In case you were wondering how I, how I did it, I used a toothpick to puncture holes on the film and I just stick the, the, the leaves in.